Hi, everyone. My name is Madia Burgos. I'm from Argentina and I'm really grateful for having had the chance to take this course, especially since I've been having online classes for a year or so. I found many of the activities and tools really worth downloading, but if I had to choose five, I would say the top five ones were, for me, Tandem, Language Transfer, English Speaking Practice, Hello, Learn to Speak English, and Read Aloud. Um, as for Tandem, you can register for free and get an online pen pal who speaks English and wants to practice your mother tongue. It's very user friendly. I would recommend this app to students at B1 level so that they can enjoy chatting with native speakers around the world. And not only would they be practicing their English, but they would also learn about other people's culture. Language transfer is very original. I found it really, really original. It's suitable for Spanish speakers who know nothing about English. It has a unique way to make students think about how languages are built. Students may well develop great confidence since they can see the surprising number of similarities between both languages and start taking informed guesses when trying to use to utter a sentence. Um, talk, English speaking practice, provides model conversations for beginners, which they have to listen carefully in order to take a multiple choice listening comprehension quiz. Students can afterwards record the scripted lines to compare their recordings to the digital ones to check pronunciation and intonation. Another related app is English conversation practice. It has a nice and simple design anyone would be able to understand, and it has several categories. Uh, the fact that Hello, Learn to Speak English is organized by broad categories makes it quite useful for any kind of lesson, traveling, business, general English, you name it. Its design is simple and clear and you can read model conversations and then record the scripted lines. Spoken English can be enhanced since the students are provided with recorded contextualized dialogues or talks. They would be learning functions, discourse, grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and intonation in real life exchanges. The last app I enjoyed uh, downloading was Read Aloud. It was nice since it gave me the chance to shadow read to make sure I was pronouncing the words correctly. However, I didn't find the voice given by the tool quite natural since it didn't have any pauses or cadence, but Thanks to this app, I started looking for add-ons that could read websites aloud, and I think my students will uh, profit from them. If I were to use them in the classroom, I would assign students a certain lesson as homework, and then I might use it as input for speaking activities in the classroom. I could also ask them to target their weak points on their own. Okay, I wanna say thank you again and uh, best wishes to the moderators and classmates in the course. Bye.